Good morning. This is Ms. Fernandez. Our new artist of study will be Vincent Van Gogh. He was born March 30th of 1852 and died July 29th of 1890 at the age of 37. Vincent Van Gogh didn't live a very long life. He was a Dutch painter has become known as one of the world's most tragic figures. Even though he was never recognized as a famous artist during his time or his lifetime, within a few years of his early death, his distinctive style was influencing the artistic movement in, to the future and even today. His work sell for an exuberant amount of money. Vincent was a very smart man. However, he spent most of his life kind of depressed and, and vexed with an illness. So you say, what was that illness? Well, that illness was called epilepsy. Um, people from his village and his time didn't really understand what that was. They didn't understand epilepsy. So in those days, they kind of um, thought uh, about him as the madman. They can, in fact, they referred to him as the madman. Vincent started his art career at a really young age, at the age of 16. His uncles and brother Theo um, whom he loved dearly, sold works of art from a lot of famous painters and artists. People like um, Camille Pissarro, Alfred uh, Sicily, Toulouse-Lautrec, Rubens, Degas, uh, Delacroix, uh, Demur, and many more. Uh, this is how Vincent was exposed to many famous paintings and styles and artists of his day. Anyway, I'm sure you know of the famous story about him where he cut off, cut off his ear. Many people thought that it was because of a, a woman he loved and her rejection of him. However, others who knew him well said, during this time, Vincent was friends with Paul Gauguin, another famous artist, and he wanted to make a community of artists. Uh, but months into this development, of this community with him and Paul, um, they had a big argument and a falling out. And they, so they parted ways. And that is what people say really was the beginning of him going a little on the crazy side and cutting his ear off. So he knew he wasn't well, Vincent knew he wasn't well. And so I told you it was a tragic story. He knew he wasn't well and so he put himself in the hospital. Back in those days it was called an asylum. and he had this little window in his hospital room. And out of that window, there was a view. One of his most famous paintings. Can you guess which one that is? Well, if you said Starry Night, you are correct. Three interesting facts about Starry Night. Number one, I told you, Vincent van Gogh painted it in 1889 when he was in that hospital room, and that was the little view from his room. It was Starry Night. Second interesting thing was that he painted Starry Night 21 different times. 21. <laughs> and they weren't always at night. It was all times during the day. But the third and most important, there were about 10 really interesting facts about that. But the third one that's important to me, which I couldn't believe, is he sent his brother Theo a letter, that's why we know this, that He's talking about this, you know, painting that he called Starry Night. He says, you know, I painted this painting, but I'm just not really happy with it. It's, it's one of my biggest failures. <laughs> failures. His most famous work of art. So that's why I'm telling you, you just, you know, art is in uh, the eye of the beholder. So anyway, in conclusion, Vincent van Gogh, in his short life, produced more than 2,000 works of art, consisting of 900 paintings and about 1,100 drawings and sketches. That's why the sketchbook is so important. Now, I would like for you to draw and colorize uh, your version of Starry Night. My most favorite place to be is a body of water, whether it's the beach or the, a, a lake or whatever. So I'm gonna do mine as probably one of those two places and probably during the day instead of at night. You can choose what time of day you would like to do yours as long as you use the strokes and his style. Okay, um, so that's what I want you to do. Remember to always start with a sketch and pencil, okay, and then you add your color. You can use any medium you would like, whether it's 
uh, crayons, color pencils, uh, markers, a combination of those, watercolor, paint, oil pastels, chalk pastels. I will probably use chalk pastels, I'm not sure, but that's probably what I will do. Remember, I'm gonna show you uh, his most famous work, okay? And that is Starry Night. Okay, that one. However, there's another one over my shoulder. There it is. If you could tell me the name of that one, I will give you five extra points. Remember to use um, his style, you know, which is those lines. I don't know if you could see that. That's his uh, self-portrait. Okay, and notice even then he uses those lines. Okay, so I want you to use his style. And once you finish your, your masterpiece, I want you to take a picture or have your parents take a picture and send it to me at my email at lfernandez at glazechristian.com. Well, until we meet again next Monday, I look forward to seeing your masterpieces. Bye-bye.